Mastery. On One Month Mastery. So I found a piece that I really want to do. It's a song by a band that I really like. If I can get this, I'll be very impressed. It's not super hard, but it's not easy. It goes a little something like this. So yeah, it's really not that bad, but some of those uh, fancy parts I think are gonna get me. And I just don't know if I can get it done in a week. Three days later. So, good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is I'm actually making pretty good progress on the song. Um, I've got pretty much the whole first, like, phrase, I guess, down. Um, bad news is, it's definitely not going to be ready for tomorrow. Uh, it's longer than I thought it was, and it's hard. I had the feeling that it wouldn't be ready, but I'm not, like, it's not even close. So, I came up with a different idea. I am going to use that piece as my final challenge. Uh, so that gives me another week to work on it. Oh! We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hello everyone. Kevin from the future here. You know, I always dreamed of traveling through time. But not in this context. Because today I come to you as a troubled time traveler. A bearer of bad news. A woeful wanderer. Because the footage. The last few days, arguably the most important footage of the whole challenge, is gone. Boof. Vanished. More specifically, it got corrupted. I don't know how, I don't know why, but the footage got corrupted. I spent many days trying to recover it, but no dice. So, yeah, my first 30 day challenge, that's it, that's it. No, no satisfying ending, no before and after, no, no build up of the progress I was able to make. It's just all gone. And now I have been left with the challenge of trying to figure out what the heck to do. The best I came up with was just doing my best to recreate what I had. It's been over a month since the end of my challenge and I haven't touched a piano since. Bad on me, but good news in this context because 
I should be right about the same level that I left off at, as long as I get a refresher. So I should be able to recreate it pretty accurately. And I took notes for my final thoughts at the time, and uh, I might even be able to give you some future perspective on that front now. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty sour ending to my first challenge, but I'm learning and growing. Now I know to keep backups. It's a, it's a hard lesson, but uh, I, I, I will learn from this and it shouldn't happen again. So huge apologies. It's uh, shameful, hurts, sucks. And I'll be honest, it was uh, pretty discouraging uh, to have put in all the effort and everything and then right at the end lose it all. Uh, but not giving up obviously. I'm gonna do my best to recreate it for you guys and to still give you the best content that I can. So stick around, see how this turns out and hopefully uh, hopefully it'll go a little smoother from here on out. So thank you guys, uh, I really appreciate it, and uh, I hope that this doesn't disappoint too much. Disappoints me, that's for sure. Spent a lot of time on that, but yeah, here we go. Feels good to be back over here. Missed it. That's an A. Okay, okay, we're getting warmed up. If you remember how I talked about how learning a piece is a lot faster than learning... Disgusting! How learning a piece is a lot faster than learning piano, well, the same goes for forgetting it. So I feel like I'm, I'm definitely getting it quicker than like the first time I tried, but I definitely have lost like the, the rhythm and just the flow that I had by the end. An important note, at the end of my challenge, uh, because I only had two days left and I didn't feel like I was going to complete it in time, I wound up simplifying some of the complex parts. Uh, some of those long runs, I wound up just changing to kind of following the melody like the rest of the piece does. That allowed me to learn a simplified version of the whole piece within the challenge window. So I was able to complete the piece it wasn't perfect, certainly, but um, I was able to play a simplified version of the whole thing. That's kind of where I ended. Um, I'm going to continue using that simplified version because I want to show you guys as accurate of a portrayal of where I ended last time. <laughs> Now I'm getting pretty close to where I left off last time, which is basically I can play the entire song, at least my simplified version. Uh, it just isn't super smooth. 
some of my transitions are slow, it's not really like performance ready, but I can basically play the whole thing. We'll sing how we sing. going to pick it up from there. Well guys, that's it. 30 days of piano, sort of. So at the time of completing the challenge, my main emotion was actually frustration because I felt like I had gotten so close to completing the song, but not quite there yet. However, having time to think on that, that style of thinking is kind of a trap. You'd fall into focusing on what you weren't able to accomplish rather than what you have accomplished. And it's good in the moment for motivation, uh, if that kind of thinking does motivate you. However, after the fact, it's kind of dangerous because, because I was more frustrated with not perfecting the song, even the simplified version, I completely neglected to think about the difference from day one to day 30, which is, I think, a huge improvement. On day one, I couldn't have imagined playing Jingle Bells, let alone that, even if I did have to simplify it. So after a month of learning piano on my own, I think my top recommendations for you guys, if you ever want to pick up piano, it's probably number one, get a teacher. Not having a teacher, I think, 
did hold me back in a lot of ways because when I did have questions, I didn't really have anyone to ask. While I was able to make good progress on my own, I think having a teacher would have given me a few extra steps in the right direction, even if it was only once a week. And if you can't afford a teacher, go online. There's so many beginner's guides and forums and apps and ebooks that will guide you and really set you off in the right direction. Looking back, I wish I had used something like that. My second piece of advice is focus on the fundamentals. This is something that week one I said I needed to really start focusing on and then I just kind of learned more pieces instead. And while, yeah, I did practice a lot of the fundamentals on my own time, without having a teacher to kind of make me do it, I kind of slacked on that, which I think wound up hurting me in the long run. Having practiced those fundamentals more early on, I think would have helped me a lot in the more complex parts of those pieces toward the end. And lastly, I think basically doing exactly the opposite of what I did. Expecting quick results I don't think is going to be healthy or get you much of anywhere. Trying to learn a piece in a day, for instance. That's a terrible way to learn and all you're doing is setting yourself up for failure, especially if you haven't even been playing a month. That, those are unrealistic expectations and you're just going to wind up being disappointed and probably frustrated. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this challenge, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see my future challenges. That's a wrap. See you later. What is it?